But what I hear usually is people say, I talk to my team all the time. I talk to my spouse. I talk to my kids. Nothing changes, right? So I invite you to figure out what kind of conversation you're having, because maybe you're stuck in that transactional, right? Doing what you said you'd do in the time you'd do it. And these conversations usually start off with, did you, why didn't you, and when are you going to? And those are necessary conversations. How do we shift from the transactions, the logistics of life, all the to-dos, into the building the relationships, getting to know one another, getting to ask more interesting questions of one another, building that trust so that we know what the person dreams of and aspires to work on. And these usually start with, how are you? Can you tell me about? We have something Jason and I came up with called the 30-30 rule. And very simply, it's can you work on something 30 minutes a day that's not due for 30 days or more? And it's as simple as getting out your calendar and thinking, what will I wish I had worked on sooner? Things on our calendar should not surprise us. I have a bonus for all you overachievers, extra certificate earners. You know who you are. Get out your phone. When was the last time you heard that at a conference from a keynote, right? Get out your phone and take a picture of that sheet, that handout, those breadcrumbs you left yourself that tell you when you're at your best. And if you know how, make it your wallpaper, the background image of your screen. Research says we look at our, our cell phones 150 to 180 times a day. What if this is what was influencing you and in getting you to make one more better choice a day? The things that you determined would give you, de would give you momentum. Use your own influence. And if you don't know how to make it your wallpaper, there is a techie somewhere near you who can definitely help. <laughs> so what did we talk about this morning? Taking care of yourself, that self-care. That's advanced leadership right there. Can you give yourself the sustained energy that you're going to need to do all those things that you know you have capacity for? taking initiative and being super selective about who you let influence you. You may not be able to choose everybody on your team, your boss or people in your family, extended family, right? But you do get to choose who you spend time with, your extra time. Have new conversations. Can you do the T's, the, the transactions? Can you make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do? Yes, that is part of our jobs. That's what makes us so good. And then can we elevate the conversation? Can we graduate? Can we get to know these people at a deeper level so we know what they really have to contribute and what we can be doing to mentor them? Ask questions, right? You've, I've given you a couple, but you have good ones too. You have questions that you know will lead to new conversations. And finally, work on stuff that isn't due for a while. That 30-30 rule. Don't be surprised by what's on your calendar. Work on it. You may be able to delegate. You may be able to move it up or back. You may able be able to delete it. Wouldn't that be amazing? I love when stuff gets canceled. Woohoo! Wasn't meant to be. I got plenty to fill that spot. So with that, I'd like to say thank you so much for your time and attention, and I wish you all the best in getting momentum. Thanks.